Hello, State Senator J.D. Mesnard from District 13, here to give you another legislative update. Well, we had some unfortunate news with a, a really big priority bill for Senate and House Republicans, and that had to do with uh, suspending the ability of cities to tax renters. So we're one of only two states in the country that allows cities to actually impose a rental tax on those who rent their homes. We know right now that housing affordability is a big issue, and we really wanted to put a stop to what is a patently unfair practice. Homeowners don't have to pay the same kind of tax. So if you can't afford your own home, or you just prefer to rent rather than own your home, you're penalized by this rental tax. It's something that I've been fighting against for years down here at the legislature. And this year, we finally got it through. The House and the Senate passed this bill to ban rental taxes in Arizona. Unfortunately, the governor did veto the bill. Uh, so this attempt to help folks facing crushing and historic inflation, unfortunately, uh, was met with a veto at the end of the day. So that is unfortunate. Um, but we'll continue to try to find other ways to help folks here at the legislature. Uh, one uh, other uh, thing that would be good to know is we at the Senate have a, an important constitutional responsibility when it comes to appointments the governor makes to various agencies. Part of the checks and balances in the Arizona Constitution requires us to have to you know, give a thumbs up or a thumbs down to appointments that the governor makes to critical state agencies. So to help with that effort, we launched a committee that focuses on director nominations. And some of the nominations that Governor Hobbs has put forward have received approval by both this committee and then subsequently by the entire Senate. But there have been some nominees that have uh, caused a lot of concern. Uh, for instance, we had the Department of Health Services nominee that was ultimately voted down not only by the committee, but then subsequently by the entire Senate because of uh, some, some past uh, questions and judgment. And then we had recently, uh, we found out that a whistleblower brought concerns with the Department of Child Safety uh, nominee that uh, Governor Hobbs had made. Now that person hadn't actually been submitted to the Senate yet, but already we were hearing concerns and the governor pulled uh, or asked the director for the resignation. So again, it's very important that the Senate have this oversight because we can see there've been some concerns. Lastly, I'll mention that a bill that I've been pushing that would ensure future surpluses that the state sees in the budget uh, uh, go both to, to helping invest in new resources, critical services that are needed, but also that we give some of that surplus back to the taxpayer. That did pass the Senate, as did my bill to, uh, to eliminate the business personal property tax. So those go to the House, and hopefully they'll advance there. That's all for this week. God bless.